Rise and shine, everyone. I'm Lizzie Gamer, and welcome back to Just Ignore Them. We last left off, it was barge into my room and see my tits day. According to this fine, fine lady over here, she's very outspoken, is a word for it. There's a peephole in the shower, and she somehow got out onto the balcony. So let's just find out why. I don't need that. That's a woman. Thank you. I don't need that. <laughs> it's not the proper response to talking to a girl. Again, I'm sorry about before. I honestly didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's okay, Mark. Really. I'm glad someone told me the truth. When I find that Bill, I'm going to break his legs and film it. These don't break mine, and I need them to walk. Huh. You're funny, Mark. No, I won't break yours. Since you're cute, I'll let you get away with it. Uh, thanks, I guess. So where are you from, Bree? You have a strange accent. I, do, I have to add accents? And so do you. I'm not going into the details, but where I'm from, it's a place called England. Oh, no. So why are you here, in the States? Let's just say, holiday gone wrong. So why are you heading upstate for, for a holiday? More like trying to get away from home. Too many monsters back home, eh? You can say that again. Huh, you really believe in monsters, don't you? I wish I didn't. But it's hard not to when you see them. Mark, are you sure you're not on medication? Oh, crack the crazy jokes now. Look, if I see one, I'll believe you. I hope you never do. Who were you going to call, by the way? Oh, just a friend. What's her name? Oh. Mary. Danny knows a girl. It's always about a girl. She works at a diner in my hometown. Well, you can use my cell phone if you like. Just keep it short. Thanks. I will. Hello, this is Angie speaking. Hey, this is Mark. Oh, the guy in the brown coat. Yeah, that's me. Can I speak to Mary, please? Sorry, Mark. She's gone home already. Oh, that's okay. I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> so how'd it go? She wasn't there. Hey, Mark. Do you love her? She's dead. No. No, she's just a friend. I'll leave you to it, Mark. Feeling lovesick? Nah, I'll leave you to it, Mark. <laughs> I don't need that. I can't do anything with it. Creepy old wardrobe. Don't that look inviting. I remember, uh... The creator of the game said that the character was based off of... Uh, Leon S. Kennedy from the Resident Evil series. But at the same time... It's hard to it's hard to imagine that because it seems like southern writing. What? Oh, good. Bill, he took my car battery. Well, my guess he's trying to keep us from leaving. The fucking bastard. How am I supposed to fix the truck? The achievement on the right side of the screen will not go away. It might be the place. This might be the place where the manager fixes stuff, and it's locked. Oh, for God's sake! I don't think I need to go back in there, but like, how am I supposed to know this game anymore? Hey, jumper cables. Why would whatever? It's a power box. It's so old watch machine, still works. Don't need anything. Old TVs, can't do anything with it. It's a note, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the desert, can't do anything with it. Nothing exciting, just a trash. Alright, here we go again. Let's not, let's not make this last forever. Stop it, light. I need you to sit still. That won't stay long. Anyways, do we head back inside and see if what he has to say, or like, if he's even there? Probably burn the place down if I start a fire in it. 
but it would make a good distraction. I why am I lighting this place on fire? Am I like solving puzzles ahead of time? All right, all that's in here is the fireplace. Uh, let's head back down the basement. Huh, her lighter might come in useful. If she doesn't wake up or I'll look just as bad as Bill. Well, she wouldn't sleep naked. It's such a distraction. Give it back to her when she wakes up. Let's go burn the place down, I guess. And she's naked. 8-bit nudity. And the achievement said get it, and to be honest, no, I, I did not get it, so I'm sorry. I can use this to light the coal. Huh? What's that smell? That boy better not have started that fireplace up. He'll burn the whole motel down. There, that just should draw him out of hiding. So I light shit on fire. Let's go to the side again? I don't know. Bill's key, maybe? I don't know. Looks like something's in there, but I can't get the door open. The latch is stuck. Hot screwdriver. This should do it. And there's my car battery. Once it's stashed it here on its way out. It's flat. Great. How am I going to charge it? You just shoved a car battery in a washing machine? Should just turn it on. Put it on cycle. This must be the most unorthodox way of charging a battery, but I hope it, this works. I'm so dead. Okay. This should be enough to just to start the truck. Where did Bill go? Here's the part where there's like police or something, man. No? Save the game. I don't need that. Yes, you do. Interesting tracking. <clears throat> as soon as we should get out of here. Okay, I should go and wake up Bree and get the hell out of here. I do wish, however, Mr. Stranger Games, Mr. Stranger Games, I don't, I never, I never knew a faster way of moving. Okay, Bree, the truck's for, Bree? Are you okay? I watched the video you gave me. You were right. I'm sorry, you were right. I'm sorry. That Bill is a sick fuck. There must be at least nine women on this tape. I can't. You can use this evidence against him. We must go now. Wait. What the fuck is that thing? That's Australian? That's the thing I warned you about. I thought you were joking. It almost fucking touched me. I'd be more worried about it eating you. What is it? I'll explain later, but right now we need to go. Okay. I'll pack my things, but you better explain that, Mark. Hello in there, the lovely couple. Shit, it's Bill. Come on out so we can discuss these problems that you've caused. Bree, just pack your things and wait for me. When I give the signal, bring a break for the truck and don't stop for anything. Okay. Well, son, you seem to be causing me a lot of problems. But don't you worry, once my buddy Ted gets here, we'll take care of you. And that pretty girl you got there, too. We're leaving, Bill, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. See, now that's where I don't understand. How are you going to leave while I have a gun and your truck's battery? But I see you've taken one of those from me. I'm warning you now, Bill. Let us go and I promise you'll live. You'll let me live. I love your chances, son. Mark, what's going on? Ah, there you are, pretty little thing. Ready to have some fun? Last chance, Bill. Move an inch, son, and I'll shoot her instead. Mark, don't. Dad! Huh? Dad? Mark, it ate him! Come on, we have to go now! 
Didn't expect this to happen. Any of it to happen. Bree now knows the truth. What do I do? I can't keep her with me. Can I? Okay, Mark, start explaining. What's to explain? you just seen it all. You know what I mean, Dad. Oh, that. That's nothing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I just watched a guy get eaten by a fucking creature. And you call it Dad? Speak or I'll fucking stab you. Wow, so persistent. And violent. Don't test me. Okay. Yes. He is, or should say, was my father. So why don't you look like that, huh? Because I'm not dead. Okay, no more. But I want to know. You can't just give me that without an explanation. Please, Mark, tell me. Why does she want to know so much about me and my past? Look, if you want to know, I can't tell you. Why? Because I will show you. I have fallen too deep with this girl. She knows way too much. She wants to know about you. About all of you. Don't worry. I promise. You will get to meet her soon. So I'm a bad guy? I'm feeding people to them? What? So, are you gonna say anything? Mark? Huh? Oh, no. Okay, Mark, where are we going? To somewhere that people shouldn't go. Oh, and where's that? New York. What's wrong with the Big Apple? Rotten, is it? It's a place where monsters are born. Monsters are born there. Yes. So why are we going to the place where we could very likely die? There's also a guy that can help me. And he can explain it all to you much better than I could. And just who is this guy? His name's Dan. Dan, huh? So what's he like? I don't know. Never met him. Okay, so we're going to see a guy you have never met to learn about monsters. Well, I can just drop you off when we get to Vegas. New York is like way over here. And Nevada's like way over here. <clears throat> No way, I just want answers, since you just dragged me through all that. Well, it's your funeral. Hey, Mark. How did your father die? Oh, he... He killed himself. I'm sorry, Mark. If it helps, my old man died when I was young. What happened to him? Well, he owed some guys money. He was a big gambler. He sold everything we owned to pay it back. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. He was shot dead in front of, in front of me. What happened to you? How come they didn't shoot you? I hid in the old fireplace in the living room. And they didn't see you? I hid in Dad's black jacket. I'm sorry. It must have it must have been very traumatizing for you. Hey, shit happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it does. But always for a reason. You better get Moot going. Our plane will leave in twelve hours. Hey, my shout for the drinks. You sure? I don't mind paying. Nah, it's cool. Saves you an excuse to take me to bed. You seem like a really open woman. Well, when you get used and abused your whole life, that's what's there to hide. Fair enough. You made it to the Vegas airport. I knew they were following me. But Bree... There's so much to her, I don't understand. How can we be so similar, yet so different? Maybe this is a mistake. I, own, I will have to decide what to do with her once we see Dave. You said Dan. Comfy, Mark? Huh? Oh yeah, very. How'd you manage to get business class? Are you kidding? I'm a woman, that's how. Okay, I get the picture. So tell me, Mark. When you mentioned that thing in the bar... About your dad. Yeah. Why did you lie to me? Uh, whoops. Whoops. Sorry. What do you take me for? Some kind of twat? N no, I don't. Mark, I know when someone is talking bullshit. How did your father die? Oh boy. 
Mark, no more lies. Okay. I expect the same from you. Okay, sure. My father died... It's because of me. I killed him. You killed him. I came home from school one day. I heard screaming coming from upstairs. I peeked into Mom's room and saw him beat her again. I hated him beating Mom. I prayed, I prayed for him to stop. But they were getting worse. So after I seen that monster do what he did, I went to the kitchen and grabbed Dad's gun hidden in the drawer. Shot him through the neck. Never meant to kill him. I just wanted him to stop. Mark, I'm not that great on sympathy, but it's not your fault. It must have been the only way. No, it is. I could have called the cops. Mom planted a knife on him to make it look like he was trying to kill me. I'm sorry, Mark. I shouldn't have asked. Look, forget it, okay? It was good to get off my chest. Okay, I'm going to use the lav. Huh? The bathroom, Mark. Oh, you want me to come with you, just in case something happens. Mark, you can join the Mile High Club any next time. That's not what I meant. Yeah, sure you didn't. I'll be back soon. Oh. Weird. Cool. You have a lighter on a plane? I really could you I could really use a smoke. I wish I should be alright in the girls' laboratories. Better cover up that smoke detector though. How do you plan on doing that? Sorry, is it the lock to eject everyone from the plane? Anyways, alright. I think this is, this is enough time for this episode. I'm having a good time. We're moving along at a decent pace. I'm starting to learn how this game functions. And I'm, I'm getting used to it. So. I'm trying to leave it. I'm having lots of fun with it. I hope you'll join me next time. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and stick around. Leave a like if you enjoy. Share with a friend if they want to run from their repressed memories of the past. If you want to see when I play games live as well as all my other social media, those will all be in the links. All of those links will be in the description below me. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. You just gotta get so aggressive that you get dizzy. Woo! That one, that one takes a little bit out of you.